YouTubers. I am outside of the Washington County Fairgrounds exhibit buildings in West Bend, Wisconsin. And we're here to uh, take a walk through and look at all the various parts of the Wisconsin Alpaca Fest. It's a combination of a opportunity to see alpaca, I guess it's called wool, fiber, and a lot of fiber arts vendors and a chance to see a number of the alpaca themselves. They do a lot of judging of the animals here. So we'll go inside and take a look around and I'm going to show you a combination of uh, both the alpacas themselves. If there's two different kinds. I think they're Hawakas and Suris. I'll probably screw up the name of those. And um, we'll look at some of the vendors and see what kind of neat stuff they've got here. So I don't know if I should call this a travel video or a weaving video because it's going to have a little bit of both. At least it's a fiber arts if not weaving. Let's go take a look inside. We're just going to take a look at some of the alpaca that are here at the show. Um, so this sub, Sabama, sub, a Sabamba alpaca ranch is actually from very near to where I live. They drove a hundred miles to get this show and so did I. I could drive ten, less than ten miles and be at their ranch. Anyways, this little pen here, these are the three girls that they've brought down to the show here. And this little girl who's got her back to us here, the one that's black, is she supposedly has some of the best fiber, very consistent. And this young lady here, I just think is cute on, on her. Look at her face, is different color. And even that gal with just the darker on the top of her head. So that's the girl's pen. And we'll walk over here. And here's their boy's pen. Now believe it or not, this light colored guy is not quite a year old. And those other two are two or three years old. This guy's, he's in here to learn his manners because he's kind of aggressive. So they put him in with older males so that they will uh, teach him his place in the herd. Thaddeus. What's his name? Thaddeus. Now uh, this is Thaddeus. The other two are Prince Andrew and Prince William. Oh, yeah, Prince Andrew and Prince William in the background. Fantastic stuff. Don't ask me which one's which. So we'll just walk down this aisle and look at um, a few of these fine uh, different uh, alpacas. And of course, they're on both sides. Here's some nice light colored ones. Now if I could get them to turn around it would be nice. But... Isn't that guy cute with the little white nose? It's making noise too if you can get close to the 
Can you hear him? Somebody else that's done some. That's how they finish mm -hmm. theirs. Remember yours I bound off mm -hmm. with um, commercial bias? You make that a little bit longer than just roll it like a regular hem. Roll it and then. Uh, just they like used... we do plain old ordinary double fold hems. Mm -hmm. You put these on there. It must be like a blanket or something, maybe a saddle blanket. Oh, it looks like it, yeah. Well, this isn't. This is just... Oh, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Interesting. A wine dispenser. When in January? No, imagine what you'll see at an alpaca show, huh? Look at all the fans. These guys, well, they got a lot of wool on them. I imagine they get hot. Got to keep them cool in here. This wheel is at the silent auction. It's called a polywog. I've seen them for sale other places. Cute little wheel. It's interesting what it's got here instead of hooks too. Those are just screws. Yeah. Or bolts or something. Rivets maybe. They look like screws, but they're no, riveted at the yeah, end. The hmm. Interesting. Interesting little uh, wheel. So can I bid on it? If you want to. <laughs> now let's take a look at a couple more of these characters. Hello there. They're eating. These are Siri. Suri. S-U-R-I type alpacas. The other ones were called Hayucha or something like that. I can't pronounce it. Uh, that's 109.1B Italy between 11 Surrey Brown Males. That will be followed by the Surrey Brown Male Color Championship. Then 110A Juvenile Bukaya Dark Brown Females. Followed by 110.1A Juvenile Bukaya Medium Brown Females. They have their bangs over their eyes. I'm, I'm amazed they can see anything. <laughs> well, we're in one of the vendor areas now. And I'm just, uh, they've unfolded this thing. Here's somebody that's selling drop spindles and you basically choose the type of long part of spindle and then you can separately choose the weighted end. So 
kind of neat looking stuff. Some nitty naughty or not uh, nasty pins. That's what I'm thinking of. And I'm gonna be embarrassed. You and that their insurance will And they had And they had show. They had show up. And um, they had had this for I don't know a year and a half or so. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's the first shearing they had for like three years here. Kristen, I have a nice slab. Pigs, I sometimes have a problem with it going. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So. Get a couple of those couple of these. pins like that, yeah. We could do that. Thank you. Thank you. I did see I tried I tried combing it and I'm sitting here like this. To comb it. I mean have to get it. So there's all kinds of neat stuff here. Here's a sport card. Not as thin as what we were looking for, but that's sport weight. Mm. Feels neat though. Yeah, it's like it's been felted and then woven. Neat looking, however they did it. Or no, or you can. Yeah, because this is kind of mushed in there, so it's not coming apart. It's sort of woven, sort of felted. We've come into the other exhibit building at the fairgrounds. So there's a lot more alpaca in here. And straight ahead of me is where they're doing the judging. So we'll just take a walk and look and see a little of that. There's also some vendors in here too. So I talked with one of the ladies that owns some of these alpaca like this and she's saying what, what this lady is looking for when she's feeling them like that, one of the things they want is very consistent fiber all the way across yeah, the animal. Out out. So there she's just looking at different parts of the animal and feeling it and trying to feel the fiber. They want it to feel very much the same, have the same softness and length of hair and luster and like that all over the animal. And the more consistent it is, the higher than the higher quality that animal is. At least that's my understanding. Remember, I'm not an alpaca person. I don't really know much about them. Yeah. So, so this is the alpaca judging at the alpaca show. So here we are at one of the vendors. I think this is Susan's fiber shop. And uh, my Judy's trying out a drop spindle. Yeah, yeah. Aren't they pretty cool? Yes. What do you want to do? Fly on the fly? No, I'm just getting a feel for it. I'm out of practice drops. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. That's a lowest level. You know you get grassy eyes. I'm only about six or eight inches from his face taking this picture. So we're gonna wander through this vendor's area. I see I'm not the only one taking video. Um, 
as you can see at this show, the in this particular building at least, one of the two, there are um, animals over on one side. Look at these lovely rugs. Anyways, lots of rugs. Animals on one side, and here's the vendor area for the vendors that are more craftsy type stuff. This is uh, the Rach Alpaca farm where I bought my roving from last year. That's at least weight, that's about yeah. as skinny as we're going to get. My next YouTube video. <laughs> Probably up there in about a week. So a lot of yarn and spinning stuff. Feels very silky. That's that Siri alpaca. That's got just a almost like silk feel to it. These ladies sell super oversized knitting needles and crochet needles. Look at the size. No, I'll be all right. Yeah. We don't want any casualties. I know. I didn't park very far though, so I'm okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. She said she missed us. No, because I don't have my glasses on. Goat's milk soap. And there's someone with a trilum. And here's some shawls that I'll lay a dollars to donuts were made on that loom. We'll look at a few more of the vendors. Um, deck class 111A juvenile Surrey Brown females. You should be checked in at the gate. And that will be followed by one. This area has got a lot of roving and stuff. Look at these rugs. Aren't these fantastic? All Shetland. Or, yeah. 100% Shetland wool. Here's one of those. Yes. 